as it joins us and it's going to explain this. Yeah, you know, you I think? do the same thing. Oh, it was beautiful. 59 <laughs> degrees today, but wait, there's more. Uh, that's usually how it goes with me. Outside, uh, we're looking at nothing uh, really overhead as far as precipitation. The radar beams are sweeping the sky. We have a few high thin clouds that are diving into the area, but other than that, everything is quiet. Now, the wider picture shows you that we're quiet across the region, but you notice something kind of unusual here. Watch, it's going to fire up again as it re racks. You're going to see clouds cloud streets and look at that. They're just parallel cloud rolls. They usually form parallel to the ground, but in the upper atmosphere, you have some wind going in a different direction and it creates these rolls. In fact, I'll give you a closer look at them. They're very pretty to look at from the ground. And of course, they're right here along the whole spine of the mountains. But uh, you've probably seen them and wondered what they are in case you didn't know. There you go. They're called cloud streets. Cool and breezy. That is the way things are going to be now. We're watching the winds. They're going to be coming in out of the west to northwest and then the northwest for tomorrow. Thank you so much, Canada, for the gift of cold, unseasonably cold air, because that's what we're going to be getting. Look as we go through the timeline. Those winds do turn and they turn more to the north and it is going to bring in uh, temperatures and air mass that has temperatures that is going to be only in the 40s and at times 30s. So here's what's going to go on. Watch our hour by hour. Uh, as we watch Philly, things are pretty quiet. Things look good as we head through the uh, overnight and into tomorrow morning. A few high thin clouds zip through, not looking at anything tomorrow other than sunshine, maybe a few clouds when you wake up in the morning, but you'll need the sunglasses again and the jacket. We get into tomorrow evening. Everything is fine. Thursday, bright and sunny. What's going to happen Thursday night and into Friday morning is we have a fast moving little system that's coming in from the west. This is not a big weather maker, but watch what happens overnight. We could get a little bit of a wintry mix up in the Lehigh Valley in Berks County up toward Mount Pocono and then perhaps just a light rain shower or a sprinkle across the entire area before it's out of here on Friday. So I just want you to be prepared. We have some changes starting by the end of the week. Now overnight tonight it's going to be chilly. We're going to be looking at some temperatures maybe as low as 10 toward Mount Pocono, 23 in Philly and then we're going to be dealing with the wind chills. The wind chills are going to be a little bit on the brutal side, they're going to be uh, generally in the 50s through this evening. But look at this. You wake up tomorrow morning again. Wind chills are going to be in the teens and those wind chills stay in the teens and 20s all day long tomorrow. No big break for us. Here's your neighborhood for tomorrow. We're going to be looking basically at the 30s. That's what it's going to feel like. Lehigh Valley, Redding, you're going to have 32 in Bethlehem, 37. Easton, you're going to be in the 30s as well. We go to Phoenixville, 39 then the Pennsylvania suburbs. Uh, Westchester, 34. Newtown, you're going to be looking at 35. Mount Airy at 34. We go to Fairmount, it's going to be 41. At least we have some sunshine, right? Haddonfield, 41 as we head to New Jersey. Let's go on out to the shore. Galloway will be at 38. This is where we go in the afternoon. And in Delaware, wow, Dover, you make it all the way to 39 degrees. Here is what we're looking at for your 10 day and 10 day trend. 41 for tomorrow. Now that is very hopeful. It's going to feel like the 30s. That's going to be earlier in the morning. We'll see sunshine in 44 on Thursday. 56 on Friday. Could see that sprinkle in the morning. Take a look at Saturday. 70. That's the magical seven I told you about. I think low <laughs> 70s are very possible. And then we turn around and do another die 49 with rain on Sunday rain on Monday and uh, we really don't see a huge warm up after that but at least we got that 70 on the board right